It was the night before Thanksgiving. Story and pictures by Dave, um, or Dave Hilke. Get that in a minute. "'Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins, and hoped that a field trip will soon begin. They sang as they rode through the autumn terrains, while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Are they talking about what kind of drumsticks are they talking about? Turkey legs. Four rivers through woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out of the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and a tiny turkey? And a little old man so lively and rugged that they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim for him, his head to his toe, with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shimp and Gruncho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as their friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door and she asked Farmer McNugget what it, what, what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. What do you think he's going to say about this turkey? What are they getting ready to do? Oh, look at what's happening. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still as their tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh, dear, cried McNugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. When they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer, mysteriously fatter. What do they do with the turkeys? They're saving the turkeys. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay. Then they thanked Old McNugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone around, showed down on a school bus abounding with love. <clears throat> the very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful of the turkeys the most, or most. So each one gave thanks for the love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. This kid felt sorry for the turkeys, and they saved them. I don't know about you, but I really like turkeys, so... Maybe the turkeys came up with a plan like on Turkey Trouble. We'll see. Bye, guys.